The primary role of age sector platform is to lobby and campaign on behalf of older people. Coming into last winter, the single biggest issue was the rising cost of living and real serious concerns about how older people were going to survive the winter. The issue of it was that the oil price went up and many people are dependent on oil for heating, but even also it affects the price of electricity. Fuel went up from less than £300 to over £600 and people were really scared, really scared because could they buy food, could they keep warm? There is a thing called the National Insurance Fund that people pay into and the National Insurance Fund is meant to pay for social security benefits uh, including pensions and at the moment well over 50% of the National Insurance Fund is unspent and it shouldn't have to be like that because the money is there. It should be given to you as your right because you have paid your stamps all your life and now they don't want to give us our money back again. And that's the whole problem. So we organised a rally up at Stormont right up to the steps of power to express the concerns of older people and calling on the local government here to take action to help older people pay their bills and have a decent quality of life. We wanted results and we were definitely going to get them. The impact was immediate. There were a few MLAs come out and the next thing you saw were MLAs on their phones calling their colleagues out from Stormont. And suddenly the steps of Stormont were filled with about 50 MLAs, all of whom then started drifting in amongst the crowd looking for their own constituents. Very powerful. We were pleased that at the end of the campaign the local assembly did announce a package of £12.5 million to go into the pocket of pensioners in Northern Ireland to assist in paying the fuel bill and that made a major impact. It allowed people the confidence that they could put on their heat, that they didn't cut back as much and hopefully that had some uh, effect on the quality of life for older people. Older people aren't looking for special treatment, they're just looking for basic rights and a basic standard of living and they're not prepared for less than that now and I think that's something that government is picking up. The Can't Hate or Eat campaign has been successful in putting older people on the map. Older people have a massive contribution to make, we see it day in day out as they volunteer, um, as they get engaged in activity that's going on, as they involve themselves in intergenerational work with our young people, providing a kind of perspective and stability to some of our young people which is currently lacking. We're a vocal group, we want the best for people who are in front of us who are older and for those coming after us who we hope will enjoy a long and happy retirement. Thank you.